Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. We're here again and we trust the supply of your power we receive spiritual intelligence we receive illumination the bible says true knowledge shall the just be delivered therefore lord we declare by the power of the holy spirit that we are rising from one dimension to the other and tonight oh god our hearts and our minds are opened in the name of Jesus Christ. Good evening, everybody. It matters to God that we grow. It doesn't just matter to God alone that we are saved. The entire tripartite nature of man must be involved in expressing the victory of Christ. Listen very carefully. The entire tripartite nature of man must be involved in expressing the victory of Christ. Your spirit, your mind, your physical body, your life, the entire three realms, in the realm of the spirit, the realm of your mind, and even in the physical, the entire tripartite dimension must be able to successfully communicate the victory of christ if one or more of these realms um does not successfully communicate the victory of christ you are going to limit the presentation of the power the victory the reality of the victory of christ will not find full expression in our lives therefore we must continue to press, listen carefully, to make sure that Christ is a contention and is a journey. To make sure that Christ is revealed in every aspect of our lives. In the realm of the spirit, you are sound spiritually. You are growing. You are conforming to the image, the character of the Christ. Are we together? Your life is becoming a representation of God. You are hosting very superior dimensions of his presence. Then your mind is enlightened. You are sustaining an understanding that is higher, far higher than the intelligence of the average human being. And then your physical environment, all the auxiliary systems that support the fact that you are in Christ. You are only fruitful in your Christian experience when your entire entire tripartite being participates in revealing the victory of christ if i am sound spiritually and i am anointed but then my mind is barren and unfruitful there is a dimension of god that my life will never be able to present are we together now yes if i am wealthy and i am influential and i have a healthy mind but my spirit is dead there is a dimension of god i will never be able to communicate the lopsidedness in the teaching about the revelation of christ through a man what the bible calls the mystery of godliness is the reason why there's a lot of unfulfillment in our christian experience so it's as though you should select one area where you want christ to be revealed and some selected finances some selected intelligence some selected spiritual health some selected influence some selected career and so everybody just selects and god says no i will never be revealed holy like that the entire tripartite nature of man must participate in revealing all of him if you're with me say amen. amen so the assignment in building you by the spirit is to make sure 
that as we continue to press by his grace, no aspect of our life is left barren and unfruitful. Are we together? I have said it again and again that the vision for what we are becoming by the Spirit of God through these teachings is very clear. There is a picture already. We are not guessing what we will be like. Are we together? The Bible says it doth not yet appear what we shall be like. But then Christ has already exemplified all that we should become. So we continue as we behold him as in a mirror. The Bible says there is a change, a metamorphosis, like an insect transits from egg, lava, pupa to the adult. That's what is happening to us. So never mind the fact that certain aspects of your life have not yet conformed. Don't worry. Your job is to be consistent and watch the wonder-working power of the Spirit. A woman's assignment is to be pregnant. The dynamics of the growth of the child, leave it to God. Every day she just knows that there's something in my stomach, whether she can feel it or not. And then at a point, she starts sensing that, look, this child is becoming real. And then nine months later, she gives birth to a healthy baby. Imagine that the woman gets worried and is wondering, what part of him is growing now? Is it the leg or the head? You are going to stress yourself. A system has already been designed in you. When your part is played, God's part kicks in immediately. So it's not everything that you need to know. There are things that you need to know. You don't need to know everything. But the part you should know, if you don't know it, it will make God look unfruitful in your life. Hallelujah. As we prepare for our retreat, I'm very excited about the weekend because for, for us it's a, time, it's a time when our lives will never, never be the same. I really believe it's the first time we're having two-day stretch retreat. Usually one day will be for the leaders and then everybody, but the kind of information you are about to receive cannot be passed in one day. You need to sit down and get this thing. I prayed to God and I prayed for you. I said, Lord, they must get it. They must get it. When you get it, it shows. He said, that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have handled. You can doubt what you hear. Sometimes you can even doubt what you see, but what your hands have handled. Now, it's too real to doubt it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight's teaching is a response. Um, many times I'm led by the Spirit to just bring teachings that attempt to respond to the issues around the lives of people as revealed to me by the Spirit. Or sometimes it may not directly be a revelation. It may just be that when... I, I examine the kinds of questions and the communication of the frustration of people as they send text messages. And once I find out that a people continually need clarity over certain aspects, then I know that it's a sign that I should commit myself in bringing them enlightenment. And I think that recently one of the areas that I would say a lot of people have had it's, it's a growing frustration is why the victory in Christ the success that the Bible says should follow a believer on account of knowledge partnership with the Holy Spirit and obedience what is really hindering the manifestation listen tonight's teaching is very powerful very very powerful because we know that for as long as realities are locked up in the spirit, Ephesians chapter 1, the Bible says, Blessed be the God of our Father, you know, our Lord and Father Jesus Christ, who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. So we're not in doubt over the fact that we have been blessed 
with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ so we are blessed everybody say I am blessed that is a fact the Bible declares it number two the Bible tells us that we are blessed with blessings are we together now and the Bible tells us that those blessings are spiritual in context when the Bible tells you a thing is spiritual that means that you may not be able to use your sensory perceptions to confirm its presence it is locked up in a dimension that is higher than the three-dimensional realm listen very carefully and then number three the bible says it is in heavenly places that is where these realities are domiciled now follow me very carefully so we are blessed with all blessings how many all blessings all blessings this is the revelation of what grace is grace is any and everything only god can produce it's not just unmerited access any spiritual reality at all that can only be birthed and communicated by the christ and in the christ is called grace anointing is grace the wisdom of God is grace. The peace that surpasses all understanding is grace. Are we together? Righteousness is grace. Mercy is grace. Every constituent that only the Christ can produce is called grace. Please listen. You have to understand this. I define grace as every good and perfect gift that comes from above so spiritual blessings from above heavenly places but routed only in christ now the difference between grace and every other thing is that grace can only be obtained in christ an angel cannot be the basis for grace are we together now yes christ is the epicenter listen carefully now grace is very powerful when it is taught correctly that means if grace cannot if that reality is not captured in the christ you don't there's no point seeking it it's not available so before you ever begin to think of the possibility of receiving and walking in any reality your first assignment is to find out whether the grace of god has made that reality available and the way you know is to find out whether the Christ, his person, Jesus, the door, does he lead you to that possibility? Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am life. He said many things about himself. He also said, I am the door, not just the good shepherd, not just the bread. Are we together now? So the grace of God is the basis for availability of anything the grace of god has in it the possibility for a man to be anointed that is why we can press for the anointing the grace of god makes his prosperity available the grace of god makes his righteousness available listen the grace of god makes access into the mind of god access into the gifts of the spirit available this is the correct and balanced communication of grace. So you approach the grace of God as a summation, the holistic picture of every spiritual privilege that only the office of the Christ can provide. You cannot route the grace of God through any other formula. That does not mean you cannot receive through any other formula. You can. But if it must be by grace, it has to be in Christ. <laughs> he had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places so we are no longer in confusion as to the fact that we are blessed listen we just finished a series on spiritual stability and the goal was to help our convictions to be unbending meaning if anyone gets up now no matter how well meaning and indoctrinates you and makes you feel like there is nothing in store for you in christ you will respectfully know that as powerful as this is 
is an error because the bible declare that he had blessed us with all spiritual blessings now the next question becomes why then because you see listen i hope you know that you are intrinsically a spirit this is very basic tonight but don't trivialize it at all say i am a spirit not i have a spirit if you say you have a spirit you are wrong you are a spirit are we together now yes that spirit is domiciled in a body according to the law of territory if you are in the realm of the spirit you don't need a physical body are we together your spirit body is sufficient for the spiritual climate but if you are in this physical realm it was so designed that you must have a material body not necessarily a mortal body but a material body a body that is made out of the material of the earth so that you can be compatible with the environment that's why god made man from the elements of the earth when bible says god made man from the dust is a generic statement it doesn't mean god used mud it means he sourced the instrument of our physical configuration from the same elements so you can look at man and see similitudes of the things in man in creation for instance the bones of man are in the similitude of rocks that's why they don't decay a man can die and his bones can be there for a thousand years just like a rock can remain you see the hair of man you see it in the similitude of grass you can cut grass it can grow back your hair so it means god made man he sourced the material for your physical frame from the environment that's why the environment should not hurt you because you are compatible if your environment hurts you then it means something else is playing out are you getting what i'm saying now it's called the law of territory so when the word wanted to become flesh he needed to come in the similitude of a material body that was compatible to the territory where he was going to come and die if jesus was going to die in venus the planet venus he would find out thank god he is the wisdom of god he would have to reconfigure himself in the similitude of that that's the reason why when angels every time angels were to come to the earth they would either remain in the realm of the spirit and by the supply of the spirit they cause the eye of an individual on earth who is also a spirit to see beyond the three-dimensional realm then the angel can now communicate to you are we together now or the angel assumes a material body it's a privilege that the angels have they can translate themselves and assume bodies and then come into your realm and at that point you will not need to see a vision again they can walk like you you can now use your natural eyes you can never see spiritual things with your natural eyes now if you think you saw it with your natural eyes it's just the interpretation of your mind i hope you know that you you don't see with your eyes <laughs> look at this shut down a man's brain keep his eyes open will he be seen you see through your eyes you see your eyes is the window that your spirit looks through but what processes that image is not this that's why if you read in the book of acts paul was blind yet he was still seeing visions that's why blind people can still be productive because what is responsible for imagery is not the eyes is the mind Are we together now so the bible tells us that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places but the challenge now is that as you've always heard me say it here once it is true that we do not seek god because of tea and bread and money and fame and prestige all of these things are not and never will be the basis of loving and seeking god 
But God so designed this kingdom such that as you genuinely seek him, listen very carefully, all of these privileges and these blessings, because remember he designed them, and he designed them to be the support system for your serving him. Is that true? That means that I will serve God effectively. If I say I designed something to support you, it means that you may, you may not necessarily die without it, but you will not be effective without it. Are we together? Now, many believers are getting frustrated. And this is the reason. My message starts now. They are aware, because this is the word of God, that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. But the frustration is beginning to grow. How long do I have to wait? How do I know whether something is faith or demonic or that I'm not obeying something? Because it looks like the time that we are waiting for that which has been resident in heavenly places to find expression. When a woman gets pregnant, she doesn't expect to give birth in two weeks. But she also doesn't expect to be pregnant forever. Is that true? She knows that there is a period of conception and she gladly, she may not know the particular day the doctors can approximate intelligently, but she knows it is around a season that my EDD is on the 14th of September, plus or minus the doctors will give. 14th of September cannot be 6th of March. That is demonic. Are we together? That's too far. So there is a time period. There is an approximation. That is the same way with a believer. Meaning when you start your journey. This is you now. You are starting your journey. You should be able to complete. You should be able to know that. Okay. By the time I get here. What should have been possible in my life. Everything may not yet experientially be manifest. But there should be what I call a token. A consolation something that motivates you that I got it right okay I started five years ago praying in tongues one hour every day reading my Bible five chapters every day reading my Monroe's book after five years I should be able to look back and there has to be an evidence in my life it encourages me to know that the ones that have not manifest I'm getting there but when your life becomes Ichabod, that everything at all, spiritually, even if there's nothing materially, let there be spiritual intelligence. Let there be the anointing. Praying one hour every day for five years to the same God of heaven and not one sick person has been healed through your hands and not, I mean, you have not seen any clear dream that came to pass. At that point, you know that something is wrong. Are we together? Many believers are now wondering. Then your spirit man receives that thing. You are doing well spiritually. Everybody who looks at you knows that you are on fire. But then relative to what God has shown you, you find out that it looks like certain things are not happening. Then you are taught that you need your mind to catch up now and get involved in the process. Are we together? When you start walking with God, your mind doesn't necessarily need to actively follow. Are we together now? You, you can't get someone born again and you are teaching him principles of excellence and this and that. That's, that's, too, that's too unneeded for that level. When people get born again, they are exposed to fire. Principles of prayer. How to study the word. Understanding the foundations of righteousness. Are we together? Repentance from dead works. They need to understand the redemptive work of Christ. They need to be introduced to the person of the Holy Spirit. The value of corporate gathering. Are we together? All of these foundational things, they have to be involved. But then eventually, now you are in need. Your child is in need. And now your mind comes in. So you start renewing your mind by the strategic communication of God's word. But then you get to a point where your physical environment is desperately in need of the manifestation of those spiritual blessings. 
this is where my teaching is now the barrenness of god being represented in your physical life you may laugh because of the consolation you are receiving from your spirit man and the fact that your mind is now catching up but sooner or later the reality of time will start demanding god to be manifest in your physical life not just your spirit alone the vicissitudes of life will now begin to compel you to need to translate those spiritual realities into a context that is applicable to your physical life otherwise you will be surprised to find out that a boomerang begins to happen that the challenge that now obstruct your spirit life will start from the natural realm physically are we together yes so this gentleman has not eaten and he's surprised that he can't pray the realm of the spirit is affected by something that is happening here he's standing and he's watching two of his kids they are driving them from school and he cannot pay and when he started with god the issue of finances was not an issue but at this point as a father of two you can't ignore it are we together and he's getting frustrated when he started ministry everybody used to meet under a tree so there was no need for bench and mat if you fell down you fell on the grass but he took it a step further and he opened a church are we together and now you don't sit on the floor in a church and he just realized that they need to buy chairs and he just realized that in that church people will get married one day and that means the reality of family life their well-being that if the families are not doing well no matter how anointed he is very soon there will be empty pews now this guy is is there is a need for the revelation of christ to find expression not just in the spirit realm not just in the realm of the mind but also in the physical this is where many of us are now apostle the bible says great is the mystery of godliness that christ was manifest in the flesh listen he appeared to men he appeared to angels the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory you only behold that glory when it dwells among you are we together even the glory of the father and the bible says is full of grace and truth so i want to help us tonight to show us because let me tell you let me give you a very kind advice never allow your personal frustration make you doubt the validity of kingdom laws never allow your personal frustration i know this is very painful you are you are far from receiving the help of god when you take your personal frustration and create a vendetta between you and god from it and say lord as far as i'm concerned i'm doing what should be done why are things not working no many times the mistake is never from god a gentleman sent me a text today probably he's following and he was going to commit suicide by this night i don't mean this play play i'll kill myself he really was going to do it there's how you know that somebody means business with suicide the kind of dreams he's having the, somebody cannot just wake up and say i want to kill myself he's just looking for help but there, there are things that can lead to you know that this person will actually kill himself and i was telling him i said no no you don't have to kill yourself and the person says usually this is it i have done everything i know to do or i have done everything koinonia teaching says to do or i have done everything my pastor or the word of god says to do i'm going to make some very audacious statements tonight and i hope it doesn't offend you if it does not work you are missing something the systems of the kingdom are so flawless if you really get it your life will wonder and marvel at the results that will come now this is an, an uncomfortable truth but i want us to please for god's sake 
humble ourselves tonight and just lend me your attention that if something is not working in my life and your life there is something you know have you seen a learner learning how to drive and then the learner is surprised why is this car moving that way i thought you said i should talk i'm doing my best he thinks based on his mind that he's doing his best but the professional knows what is wrong and the learner will argue and say this and that and that no i don't i don't believe it i don't do this and that and that when i started marking student scripts a school of ministry students that's when i knew that many students that say they gave me are talking nonsense <laughs> they gave me five they gave me ten as that's for for in for many of it is is complete nonsense at least i'm honest i'm born again and godly and i'm the one that is doing the marking from a very unbiased perspective and i'm surprised ah if you wrote this you should be joking to expect to pass <laughs> now but you ask the person who wrote it i'm just using that as an example you ask the pe just because he read and just because he wrote you can do a mathematical calculation and be wrong but just because your wrong answer is part of the answers and you got it doesn't mean you passed the answer to the question may be five but your wrong calculation gave you two and option a is two and you say i got it no you didn't get it you just found your error as part of the options are we following I don't want to live my life doubting the things I believe. Mm. I don't want to get to a point in my life where it becomes too late to be accurate. So I want to walk with you in a few minutes and I want by the grace of God, I think for many of us, I know what is wrong. And I want to show you this night and I want you to listen because i'm speaking to people who are largely spiritually enlightened so what is wrong you will be surprised to know that the same frustration many of you are having i had it too because i believe with all my heart that i was getting everything right but looking from today's standpoint <laughs> it was a joke i even wonder how i can see the gaps that the mercy of god covered outstanding success has a huge price write it down for someone this is already a deliverance because you believe that success just because the bible says he has given us all things just because the bible says the primary reason why many believers never succeed whether in ministry or in whatever area of life among other things is they misunderstand how spiritual things are both communicated and translated the idea of spiritual things being an inheritance in christ that word if not well explained can mislead you and make you fail now the bible is saying i have been given all things if i have been given it means my next and only assignment based on this is to receive and you are not wrong but the system of reception is every other thing i will be saying for many people we think to receive just means to verbalize by faith i receive you see it now but that's incomplete the same way the system of god giving you this you see the bible speaks from different angles and different dimensions and so when you are interpreting scripture you have to first understand the context what was the subject matter that was being addressed because it will help you know why certain expressions were used when paul in his pauline epistle is teaching them on revelations of redemption you notice that his communications was uh, they were always from a standpoint of the finished work of christ you will never see in Paul's context 
his exegesis on redemption he does not ever give you any idea that there's anything to be done so he lets you know that you are starting from a position of victory and that is correct with respect to your understanding of redemptive realities but now you switch to the other dimension which is coming into the experience of the kingdom and paul begins to change his communication it is not a he's not counteracting himself he is now showing you why should i want to press to enter something that is an inheritance so paul gets to the book of hebrews and Paul now surprises us and even confuses many that in spite of the fact that you have been given this, he said there remained a rest for the people of God. Are we together now? He now begins to talk of the Sabbath of the church and the Sabbath of a man's destiny that until now there is still a rest. That means until today, men have not entered into the experience of this. And he says, today, if you hear his voice, he says, do not harden your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness. Is that true? And then the Bible now begins to tell us that he heard the word just like we did, but the word did not profit them. And he now introduces something strange. He said, not mixed. A Jimmy's wife is a professional baker. The word mixed doesn't mean to talk. It means it involves action. It involves process. When you mix something, you combine factors together. And the Bible said, not mix with faith. Faith is part of the many things that should be mixed. Not mix with faith. Like you say, you didn't add salt to the food. The food is not salt. There were many other things before salt arrived. But for the taste you are looking for, salt is the ingredient that must be added not mixed with faith in them that heard it and so many people are unable to translate these realities into their lives success has a huge price it truly is very costly the earlier you got this the better for you settle it once and for all that the birth of anything valuable is painful number two like I will always say, failure too has a huge price tag. Many people don't know that it's not easy to fail. They think it's very easy to fail. If there is a price to produce the results that we need, what is that price? I'm not going to be talking of many of them. I'm just going to mention one that I believe with all my heart that many people are not doing is the price of diligence write it down and listen very carefully please don't assume you understand what i'm saying the price of diligence proverbs 14 verse 23 read it for me if you are a serious Christian, one, two, read, please. But the talk of the lips only does what? In all labor, there is profit. But the talk of the lips only will tend a man to penury. There is a dimension of entering into your rest that requires labor requires diligence diligence is a trait that all successful people whether in ministry in business have many believers are busy many believers are taking action but they are not diligent Write this down. Diligence is the quality of being productive. Write it down. Diligence is the quality of being strategic. Diligence.
diligence is the quality of being resilient on bending the refusal to bow out diligence is the quality of endurance please listen to me in africa i don't know if it's a social cultural context but we have a very funny understanding about success we have all kinds of mentalities about success that are wrong in themselves but i think probably the worst of them all is how much we trivialize success to believe that god or government or parents or mother nature owes us are being successful or we just feel i may just put my hands here and there and then with just a prophetic word or just a blessing or just a a, a little oil on it everything just works diligence is not just hard work notice my choice of words you must be strategic you must be productive listen diligence involves the sacrifice of your time diligence involves the sacrifice of your energy diligence involves the sacrifice of your resources The sacrifice of your time write it down <laughs> ah, blessed be the name of the Lord may God open our eyes tonight look at me let me teach you something everybody say time is money say it again you've heard it every time but what does it mean what does it mean by time is money That means that you are only rewarded when you create an event that makes men to have time for it. Listen. Come, Pastor Lawrence and your lovely wife. I was happy to see you people. Just celebrate them. Come, come quickly. Come stand here. Don't be embarrassed. Thank God you are a pastor. Look at this. How many of you know that last year we didn't have time for their wedding? Because the event was not yet created. Anytime an event has not been created in the earth realm, there is no time for it. That means you cannot commit any resources towards it because there is no time for it. Both of them decided, when did you marry? What's the date? 15th? Now they, they decided to bring time and attach an event to 15 September the moment they took the risk to create an event people started having time for them and resources started coming to them now that the event has been achieved nobody will give you money for marriage again because there is no longer time for it listen listen by 1990 there was no time for Zuckerberg there was no time for Facebook because that product was not created. There was no event that will make you have time for Facebook. So a gentleman said, let me make men have time. And with that time will come resources. And he made available an event. And now we have time for Facebook. There was no time for Koinonia. Before Koinonia started, your Friday night were for something else. The moment there was a vision, that vision brought time to it. And with that time, every resource came. Is that true? So when you say time is money, time is not necessarily directly money. Time is only money when an event, a creativity was added and attached to that time. It will now make men to have time for you and with that time it will make them to have their resources so when you pay Zuckerberg you are not paying him for the product necessarily you are really paying for the price he has paid to make you have time for that thing 
Are we together now? Now you all have time for browsing. Once upon a time, you could not do that on your phone. Somebody made that possibility. With that time now goes your data. Your data will finish and you want to invest in. When you pay data, what are you really paying? Think well. What are you paying? Time. When you pay for a venue and they say from 12 o'clock to 6 is 60,000, what did you pay for? If they give you a job and they say from 8 to 6 you are working, what are you really paying for? If you take away time on earth, nobody will pay anybody for anything again. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So there is an event and then men begin to invest in this and now they are married. God bless you. Thank you. Ask him what it took to create that time. <laughs> he summarized it in one sentence. It is not. I said, that's my message. <laughs> now, but is he married or not? Please talk. You are laughing, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. Is he married or not? Did the devil stop it? But it is not. 24 hours to your wedding. There's no reception. Oh God, take my shame. That's, that's, that's labor there. It's labor in prayer and faith. It's not just an activity. In all labor, there is profit. <laughs> Goodness. It takes diligence. Please sit down, sit down, Pastor. If you are not diligent, listen very carefully, my brothers and my sisters. There is nothing you will ever do and achieve in life if you neglect diligence. There are many, many men of God. For instance, I was listening to Bishop Oedeko's um, lecture at, at Benson Idahosa, the university there, commemorating um, Mama Idahosa's birthday. And I mean... That, that great man of God at that age was just crying out his life. Many people believe life is so cheap. They just think just because there is the anointing that can accelerate a factor. They believe that the anointing is a basis for laziness and lack of diligence. Many of us here, the missing ingredient... Is that we are not diligent diligence does not mean you are not moving you are not moving strategically you are just busy around trying to hustle what business are you doing oh yeah let me join now what are you doing let me just apply i will apply everywhere by faith you believe that what you are doing uh -uh. let me show you something luke chapter 14 please let's read two verses 28 and 29 I hope God is talking to someone. Luke chapter 14, 28, please. Luke chapter 14, 28. Read with me, Koinonia. One to read. For which of you intending to build a tower? Hold on. So you, you have an intention. You have a vision. You have a goal. But the Bible says the first thing you do is not to go and buy cement. The first thing you do is to do what? Sit down and then count the cost whether you have sufficient to not start it finish it you can know you have what it takes to finish it before you start otherwise the bible will not talk about it here you can know that i have capacity to finish this vision next verse less happily after he had laid the foundation and is not able to finish it all that behold it begin to mock him in fact, let's, let's read the next verse. Saying, this man began to build, continue till I ask you to stop, and was not able to finish. Remember, we're talking of completion here, finishing. Next verse. Or what king going to make war against another king, seated not down first 
and consulted whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000. Are we together? That you become strategic about your life. Not just to take action. Many young people pray in tongues. They fast dry. As soon as they are done, they just get up. Just because the Holy Spirit told them, do A and B. They just get up foolishly. They, there is no, they, they don't have that strategic approach to life. A man comes with his wife. Look at this. You are married to your wife and you are acting as if how will the finances be run? The spirit God is faithful, is it not in this life? You are not diligent. Let's pray. Wonderful. But you are not diligent. There is no planning. There is no strategic approach. Are we together? You have real issues that need to be dealt with. But you just find a way of spiritualizing it and throw everything. Faith is not foolishness. You are sitting down. Let me show you diligence. How much do we have now? 20,000 per month. How much do you need? 200,000 per month. We are, we are far from the goal, but at least we are aware of what we have. The miracle comes when you know what you have first. Remember, what you have in your house is already a sign that you are about to receive a miracle. Are we together? Yes. If you have 20,000 naira in your house, and you are a pastor that means there's no organizing conference <laughs> there's no organizing any breakthrough service in the name of any hilarious vision we are not diligent and we're not strategic how many pastors are consistently in debt because they continue to organize conferences borrowing money and they tell you it's god that did it and they wept themselves in a lot of shame and reproach you borrow one million, invite five men of God who come for four. Now, you think that just because it is spiritual, you are not strategic about your life. You will never prosper and you will not do well that way. Are we together? A man is starting a ministry and all, no members, there's no track record of loyalty and you go and rent a venue where you are paying 100,000 per month or per week. Believers, if you don't listen to what I'm telling you, you will be surprised that your life is not making progress. A tongue-talking, born-again believer is receiving salary of 50000 You will find him in Zaria Suya spot. He will buy five chicken. One for apostle. One. You think just because you are buying for apostle means you are, you are not diligent. If one chicken is say 3,000 and you buy five, 15,000, what percentage of your salary is that? All of a sudden, you will find out two months later on that you forgot that your child's school fees is coming. Is it not funny how people forget? They have children and then two weeks to resumption or three days, they'll say, ah, sorry, yo, I didn't for, where's the PTA letter? You are not diligent. It's not about having money or not having money. The same way people come to church, when they now say time for offering, they are surprised. You are not diligent. You are not strategic about your life. You just stand and guess. While the offering is coming, quickly you just touch your pocket, bring out everything and drop it. You are not intentional about life. I tell you why many things are not working for us. We are praying. We are happy. But we are not getting the level and the kind of productivity that should be gone. I have prayed, I fasted, but I took out time, the entire retreat. I'm not just going as the spirit leads. There is something intentional to be inculcated in the people. And because of that, it demanded two days. It's not God that told me two days. The wisdom of the word and the level of investment I seek to produce in your life in these two days necessitate two days of training. The first dimension of being diligent is not hard work, it's being strategic. Being strategic helps your energy to be worth it. Many of us are dissipating energy, but we are shadow boxing. Apostle, it's not like I'm sitting down, I'm moving, I'm doing something. What are you doing? Have you thought about what you are doing? 
there are people who can start 10 businesses in one month it's a sign that they are not diligent they were not strategic over what they are doing i just want to do something i want to get my hand doing something you are just hard working you are not diligent a diligent person will sit down you will look at your lifestyle you will look at your goals and your vision you will look at what capital you have the knowledge the level of knowledge you have you look at that business relative to your service relative to your life as a workforce person you look at every other factor how long do i want to do this business is it just to help me get capital for something bigger or this is a line of interest i seek to pursue there's no diligence that's why there is no sustainability in the things we do we just jump at whatever we hear is happening and do you know let me tell you this when you when you continue failing for a long time you will stop believing yourself I've seen a lot of pastors, men and women of God, very anointed people, but they come to me and say, Apostle, what, why, why is my life like this? And I look at them, I say, do you know, sometimes they can even tell me as I'm talking to you now, I'm on a dry fast, three days. You know, three days dry fast is not easy. Try it. Three days fasting itself is, is but dry. When dry means no water, no nothing. And the person is, you are seeing the spiritual sacrifice. And the person is saying, I thought this thing comes by it. And you are saying, no. Let me tell you what you are doing wrong. I will not become your member. There are many things you don't know. You are not diligent. The man who tells you he wants members has not sat down to really think of what it means to be a pastor over members. He's not planned it ask him have you done your homework to one those members he says i can preach by the grace of god i'm anointed i'm a mighty prophet i'm an apostle of god is that all it takes to run a church are you seeing that now a lot has not happened we ignore all of these things and then he sees and says oh one day we will take the nations in the name of jesus according to my vision i saw doors opening uh-huh what do you think will happen so we just sit down and feel like uh let's do a conference light and glory prophetic encounter season one you start now i'm not being sarcastic you just sat down and thought okay what is this conference supposed to do to my members what is it supposed to do relative to their spiritual level relative to the level of ministry relative to our finances i'm bringing one guest minister from ghana i'm bringing one guest minister from london i'm adding apostle joshua selman from it what is your budget for the conference two million what is your entire church offering for a year five hundred thousand god is faithful you see that that is already a recipe for a struggling pastor forever i don't care what kind of tongues he prays there are many believers that don't have plan to one day have their own house you see it in their life show me your notebook under god that i know that i'm in one small room but i'm already planning and these are the steps i am being strategic let me tell you this i stand before the god of heaven come ejimi be my witness there is nothing you see being done in koinonia today that i did not say will happen he will tell you nothing absolutely nothing I can bring notebooks for you and show you where I wrote these things and I wrote everything that will be done when Koinonia was going to start I told you that I saw CGC bigger than this it was small but I saw it expand it's not just vision so we began to prepare when the Lord showed me that nations were going to come and all of these things I sat down I said it takes a lot I studied the seven largest churches in every continent of the world it's not just prayer and fasting alone you have to be strategic at a particular level of ministry that i get to i may not be outside on a bike again somebody will embarrass me will i have the financial level at that time to at least have a car what if koinonia needs to run gen 24 hours these are things thank you sir thank you so much these are things that many people never plan for 
you just sit down and say let's have another baby and god is watching you say you, you i did you hear yourself let's have another baby you see nigerians and africa we continue to punish ourselves and we continue to make a fool of god because we are not strategic the baby comes and the man does not know what to do they are confused and he's angry you are the stupid woman why didn't you advise me when i said let's have a baby say is it my fault and, and all of, and the baby who is innocent there is watching and saying well, so what is, what is going on now what are you going to do with me if i ask many of you here my dear brothers and sisters don't stand up but if i say how many of you are in ministry not will be ministry are in some kind of ministry many people will stand up and i look at you if i say after 10 years many people will be struggling they will get angry they'll say apostle is proud he's talking nonsense he's being stupid but i said this thing years ago that many ministries will struggle in the future because i saw by the spirit that there were certain demands that 21st century ministry will require and i said lord i don't want to be stupid i want you to show me what are the systems that will take to excel and god said if you can sit down and you are willing to pay the price I will show you when I was saying some of these things people laughed at me others insulted me others said a lot of things it's amazing how I look at people today and I look at the way they are languishing in the squallow of ignorance God is the builder of all but let me tell you every house is built by someone yes diligence involves being strategic you have to sit down and plan in the name of jesus god is faithful but i have to plan what is the system for making sure everyone gets filled with the holy ghost in koinonia it's not enough to be anointed imagine that you did not put that system in place a time will come half of your members are not filled with the holy ghost my god that is some that is some some babylon in your church when half of the members are not filled with the holy ghost you are in trouble already what is the system in place for all of this is part of being diligent number two diligence involves sacrifice mm. many of us miss it in this area sacrifice is a non-negotiable price if you want to ever be great the sacrifice of prayer the sacrifice of prayer you see the sacrifice of fasting the sacrifice of staying till you understand the word of god god is my witness whom i serve i don't know how many hours i've slept from yesterday till today and it's going to be a marathon into the week just going don't get me wrong i rest but every man knows uneasy lies the head that wears the crown you see that while you are sleeping and praying oh god bless these people in this retreat open their eyes let koinonia service today be powerful bring the people let there be miracles let there be signs let there be wonders my brothers and my sisters no matter what god has given you the sacrifice dimension of success is something you must come to terms with it will cost you we are a generation that likes comfort too much we are a generation that likes pleasure too much we are a generation that is so averse to sacrifice the moment you have to constrain yourself a little we complain and shout and ramble yet if you see the kind of results we want it takes it takes a lot of sacrifice take sacrifice someone sent me a text and said apostle why are you not responding to me i've been calling you and you are not responding what is this and i just look i said this this man does not know the hundreds of text messages that i get every day 
and the things that I have to do. I was counseling people yesterday, counseling people in Lagos. I already knew I was going to miss my flight. I told this, my people, I said, you guys should just go to the airport. I'll find my way. Just go. I knew I was going to miss my flight. But the people that I was, it was a strategic counseling. And I said, no, no, no. Let me miss the flight. You just go. And they went. As soon as we're done, I went to the airport, got the next flight that could come to Abuja. Instead of just flying down to Kaduna and coming to rest, I had, because of sacrifice, I routed down to Abuja and then from there now, from the airport back, I arrived in the night. As soon as I arrived, I just went, refreshed myself and went to work immediately. Apostle Joshua Selman. Someone sent me a text and said, Apostle, we are proud of you. We saw that in Lagos, they gave you an award. I said, don't look at the award. Look at the hands that collected that award. The sacrifice. We like pleasure. We like clapping. But the inner price, the price. Apostle, what do you do that people are just blessed like this? What do you do that they are anointing? You are just talking and people are jumping up and down. My brother and my sister, it's not a charm. It's a price. Even a charm has a price. The palace will not just give you a charm because you want to be diabolic. Do you know how much you are going to pay? It's a price. I can't remember the last time in my life I watched a movie. I have television but it's off I can't remember the last time the TV in my room was on honestly sincerely why did you buy it then I must enjoy you it's my money then you will never become anything in life there is a huge price please young people listen being young does not mean to be indisciplined and careless you must be ready to be serious and pay the price it takes nobody just follows a leader just because of anointing it's a combination of many factors including a track record of consistency every member wants to know that the leader they follow is visionary enough there must be predictability to your destiny and your vision your life and whatever your mission is must be well articulated for anyone to follow you otherwise they'll come and receive miracles and just go away human beings are not stupid they are first human beings before members of any church. Sacrifice. Say, I receive grace to be sacrificial. Mm. Sacrifice. When you carry the money, you should buy a book with and read. And you buy shoe because you saw somebody buy a shoe of 100,000. You allow a Luciferian spirit to deceive you to go and buy a shoe of hundred thousand to prove a point you are not ready for the sacrifice dimension of greatness let me tell you it's not just when you have you spend there are times that a door can be open but you close it yourself because you know the time has not come it's not every open door that means God has licensed you to pass. The door does not have to be closed to know it's not time. It can be open, but you limit it by yourself and close it because there is a season of appearing. Is God speaking to us? Sacrifice. Many of us are comfortable with little results. That's why you find out that my many brothers and sisters, men of God around this nation and the world, they never go far. They start small, small signs and wonders, small membership, small miracles, small testimony. And you know that arrival mentality. I look at myself and say, Apostle, you've not started though. You've not started at all. You never come to my house. I have received so many awards. You never come to my house and see one picture that I snap with a governor or a politician or somebody from the presidency, you will not find one. I don't trust them. They are deceptive. You won't find any award on my table. With this he received award from this one. This one he met with this governor. This one he met with this. You, it's not Joshua Selman. Those things are deceptive. I push them. What you find is my future on my table, not my past. Fill me up. Till I overflow, I want to run over, I want to run over, fill me up, till I overflow, I want to run over.
I get hundreds of text messages every day. Apostle, you are a sign and wonder. The apostle of our time. Great man. There is a testimony. Apostle, we've been trusting God for a child for eight years. Remember, you spoke to us. Now the child has come. Apostle, let me have your account number. We want to be sending this and that. And sometimes I put my phone in front of me like this and I look at it. I said, Lord, deliver me from deception and complacency. Deliver me. Compared to where we are going, this is only a step out of the cave. There are still lands to conquer. There are still territories. What have we seen that we brag about? There are deep things in the spirit. When you have an arrival mentality, you will never see the need to, sacri to sacrifice. In this kingdom, you don't arrive. Oh. You don't arrive. All those who arrive are the ones who are no longer relevant when God is moving. Is God speaking to us? Many of us here are not willing to sacrifice. Show me what you are willing to sacrifice to be prosperous. Show me what you are willing to sacrifice to be truly anointed. Show me what you are willing to sacrifice. Apostle, I like movie. I'm like that. We are all we are in our family. It's a gift. It's not a gift. It's an appetite you have refused to curb. It can be a gift, even if you are called into the movie industry. It takes diligence to sit down and plan. Can be a gift. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. Some of us need to trust God for grace. To off that laptop. Off that phone. Off that television. And say television. I'm tired of watching other people fulfill their assignment. I'm ready to sit down. Lord you are calling me into a strong apostolic ministry. I open my Bible, not TV. There is a time to watch TV. But in the name of Jesus, I sit down. When others are sleeping, you wake up. Your eye wants to close. They don't try it. Don't try it. I'm going far. Jacob's kapata kata. Lord, open my eyes. And you are hearing one message. You are about to rest more. There's another worship backing you up. Then there is another prayer confession as you are stretching fire on your spirit. Because you are preparing for an extraordinary life. Men of God, there is no shortcut to this thing. Let's not mock God. There is no shortcut. That blood must really flow. The way to the throne is the cross. There is no other way. Hallelujah. And you sit down. The, 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 the sacrificial dimension of diligence. There are times that God will demand from you. I have 10,000. That's all I have. And God says, carry it and give me. And you sit down and say, God, no. You are, uh, if you are really God, your mercies endure. You are new every morning. All those statements of unbelief. You carry that thing by faith and say, Lord, I'm, I'm, let me be stupid for you. Let me tell you this. Show me a man who is no longer afraid of pain. I show you a man that Satan cannot do anything about when you when you master pain and it no longer touches you the devil will put his hand on his head and say what do i do with this person because pain is his edge in your life the moment you are uncomfortable you run away from that thing the cave you fear holds the miracle you look for that cave the cave that you are afraid of is because the treasure you seek is there you must trust god for grace and roll that stone and enter into that graveyard eyes closed and say lord if i perish i perish is god speaking to us yes say sacrifice say it shout sacrifice the sacrifice of your time the sacrifice of your energy many of you see what god is doing through this ministry did you know that sometimes as early as six or seven in the morning the workers are already at work you see this guy standing the worship team is behind me male and female no difference when you are in the worship team they are standing there so when you hear me raise a song and they are singing it's not robots human beings behind everything that works is a man making it work behind everything that works if you eat a delicious meal someone stood in the midst of the smoke to cook it 
if your cloth is nice someone paid the price to iron it please let us settle it once and for all nothing just happens if you are fed spiritually at the back of that revelation is someone's sacrifice we devalue the sacrifices of men in nigeria you look at young people talking about men of god and they have zero revelation zero result zero discipline zero vision yet they sit down and tear men of god they talk about men of god this guy is more anointed than this this one is more sound ah that other guy in uh, in, in ghana oh have you seen the one in this oh and they sit down and analyze any day you see sacrifice don't pretend you didn't see it stop by and salute it even if you are in a hurry the moment you see a man with blood and the scars of sacrifice please don't pass and ignore it stop and say i salute the investment of god upon your sacrifice it's the reason why when we finish service we allow our elderly ones to sit down it's not just because of favoritism the sacrifice of time the sacrifice of life the precious workers in this ministry some of them have been working since morning some of them will only go back early in the morning and some of them by by early in the morning they are going to start their work sacrifice the koinonia you are getting blessed by many of you when i mention a scripture you see it here at the back of this result is someone who is paying the price to make sure they do it well what do you want in life are you willing to pay the price or are you willing to let the price be paid for you no say i receive grace to be sacrificial one more time say i receive grace show me a man of god that will sacrifice in prayer that will sacrifice in mentorship that will sacrifice in the word whose heart is open to understand the systems of god my brother and my sister i show you a man of god that no devil no power no cause no charm in existence can stop show me a man who is willing to settle down and understand god's financial systems and pay the price i show you a man who will wave poverty forever and wave it goodbye forever show me a man who is ready to pay the price to be diligent enough to be valuable i show you a man who will never beg never beg never beg something happened when we were traveling to lagos very humorous story let me just say it. i got into the plane and then i saw i saw a couple and their mother they were shouting at Paul, so I said, these people have come to embarrass me now. And they were happy, and then when we got down, the mother came and hugged me. Said she has been listening to my message. My son, let's snap. And we're snapping, and the mother just squeezed some money. I said, mama, don't do this. I don't know you. I said, you, you must collect you. And I said, ah, this is somebody's salary. And somebody's saying, you must collect. The key is not anointing, it's value value if you are not valuable no mama will stand behind you a a wise son makes a glad father a foolish son is a reproach to his mother nobody will be proud of you for not doing nothing let me tell you the truth i'm being hard on us i love you our retreat has started workers value stop packaging faking lying settle down and say in jesus name i must get this thing stop looking for money and trust god to piece together all the spiritual resources to be valuable they were carrying my luggage and then i sat down somewhere at the airport and the next thing i saw some group of boys i know how people look at me i just know that they're about to embarrass me again they came and said apostle ha ah, jesus this and that and that I was sad because I missed my flight. I was on my way to pick another flight to come back. And then I get into the plane and I see someone looking at me. Apostle. And he shouted, Jesus. I quietly went and I sat down. There was a space between me and the next person. True story. Yesterday, the guy got up and left his workmate and came to me. That he wants, I said, No, you want to embarrass me here. We started creating a scene. And you know how people in the plane got, ah, they were happy. The guy said, I'm not going. He wanted to kneel down there. I said, What is all this now? 
ah, this is a, a flight that is taking us guy said he must sit down close to me i said okay he sat down close to me when everything was done i didn't know that all through that flight he was busy packaging a lot of money he works in abuja and he just carried that i said no 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 i won't collect i will just bless you and i said once upon a time in my life this is what i needed to eat dinner and jesus was still lord if you are not valuable nobody will reward you my brothers and my sisters success is not a charm if you are not valuable nobody will reward you stop making demand of from life when you are not giving anything back it's a scam to demand from life and not give anything back so after you he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare the warfare is not just fighting demons you are wrestling with prophecy in the name of jesus a word has come that god is my ebenezer to help you means you are doing something lord I'm, I'm i'm going to settle down and take my life seriously why is it that my help has passed me and there is nothing it's like a stench from my life driving them why is nobody coming to sponsor my ministry something is wrong value i don't share these testimonies to brag i told you about my pastor friend who someone called him and said please do you know apostle he said yes he said i'm going to transfer money to you send it to him for me the thing paying the man of god he called me and said apostle what is this somebody doesn't know you and knows me then now sends money to my account and say i should transfer it to you i just cracked a joke and we laughed and laughed he's my very good friend value you can make up your mind and say in the name of jesus i will pay my children's school fees the whole session from the beginning of every year and then when you are prophesied like that you carry your spirit your head your mind into the room where the spirit of god breaks upon people and you say lord there has to be a way there has to be a way i can tell you this my brothers and my sisters when you mean business the gate of destiny must open the reason why many of us have not forced that that gate must be broken he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder the gate of destiny will not open when you stand and just speak english oh gate i'm standing here no stories you are you are mocking yourself gates you must open you must open you didn't open for my father look at what he said him and his wife that nobody ever married legally i'm sure he made up his mind in the name of jesus i must marry a wife by paying a dowry and going to church when he was saying it the evil force he said let's see what will happen i did it for your father and your mother let me tell you something sacrifice is a covenant when you make up your mind to sacrifice it's like entering a covenant with god gather unto me my saints 50 verse 5 psalms they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice number three diligence involves resilience and tenacity now this is where i want to talk a little and then we'll pray for tonight please sit down everybody say resilience everybody say tenacity come hold me try to resist me as i'm moving this is how life is no destiny will not allow you cut walk to the promised land no sir there are not only giants in the gate the giant starts from egypt they will pursue you it's not just the giants on the promised land there are giants where you are going there are forces that will stop you so you are hold me again you are trying to move forward and these devils that have stopped everybody want to stop you it takes faith you will fail many times and you say satan i will wear you by my consistency whoever told you that just because god spoke to you you will succeed at first there is difference between failure as an event and failure as a person believers this is where we miss it 
the average Christian, when he fails once, he will bring all kinds of jargons around and excuse and say, You see this, this, and that. And Christians, we are very good at making people to stop rising. The moment you do something, you you God told you you are going to take worship to the nations. Your first album, you bought it by yourself. So I, I won't disgrace myself like this again. Sorry, Mr. Man. That means you are not ready to get to the nations. Life rewards tenacity. You put the first album, it doesn't work. You say, I know I didn't get anything right, but at least it gave me exposure. Let's go to write the second song. The first one, I just composed nonsense. The second one, I'm not just going to involve the Holy Spirit alone. I will involve a music director. So both the Holy Spirit and a music director is involved to help you balance some of the things that will make people like us not to buy it. Are we together? And now, by the time you balance it, your second album comes with a greater level of professionalism. A day will come, you'll be standing on a stage and somebody will be waiting with a check outside to give you what would have been your bill for the first entire production the first time. Whoever told you champions become champions from day one. Don't you know that success is overcoming many failures? You never qualify to be great if you cannot ignore failure and keep moving. God is speaking to someone already. Man of God, just because you started ministry and nobody's patronizing your grace, just because you started ministry, every sick body you prayed for looked at you and warned you and they told you to never, never come for their conference again. Just because the first sermon you made a mistake, you forgot the scripture because of tension. Anointing will not drive tension like that. It takes experience to drive tension. You will need to do this thing many times. Ramble on the stage more than once, twice. And then eventually one day you will now begin to gain yourself. You can articulate. Do you know what it means to be talking and looking at people and they are looking at you back? Especially if they are frowning at you. You crack a joke, nobody laughs. You forget the scripture. No amount of prayer will take that thing away. It's a track record you must create. So it's not a spiritual problem. He say it's just the, the, the challenge you face on your road to greatness. You don't go back and say, oh God, but I fasted now. What evil spirit and no evil spirit entered you? Consistency. Consistency. A day will come you will build confidence. You will be able to look at people and preach. Is God speaking to us? Say in the name of Jesus. I will wear failure until I succeed. The word wear there doesn't mean to put it on. It means to wear it. If my expression is not correct, find your own. The idea is frustrate failure till you succeed. Look, let me tell you, failure can be tired. I found out by experience that failure is personified like a being that can say, I'm tired of this guy. Go, pass and the gate opens and you walk gallantly i can tell you stories of my failures and you will be surprised i remember praying for somebody years ago they took me to pray for someone on wheelchair i think i've shared it in maybe 2012 or 13. I went full of the Holy Ghost. Those days, you fasted and prayed for everything. Even if they said, lead praise and worship. I prayed for, I, I took out time. If you see the level of revelation I shared. And yet, when the time came to pray, all in the final analysis, I prayed, I laid hands, and I know the man had faith. Because faith comes by hearing. That guy gave me all his attention. I knew his spirit was in what I was saying. Let me give you a little testimony. Let me come. Let's laugh a little. You see this guy here? I love it, Jimmy. Let me tell you this. When I started teaching them how to get people filled with the Holy Ghost and the principles of impartation, something happened one day. I left a Jimmy and one lady. He was to get her filled with the Holy Ghost. You see, when you see him talk now, you are flying from your chair. It's a track record. 
I remember Jimmy talking with the lady in, you know, he's very intelligent. He shared every revelation when he finished. He now tried, the lady was tired. She said, I'm, I'm tired, this thing. I mean, it's so, it pained him. And then, I, I can't remember the story exactly. I think he called on me. And I came, and I mean, in less than one minute, that lady was, and we were going home. And Jimmy was gloomy. He just said, but ah, that at least if she fell down, he knew he would have helped her fate. I remember comforting him and said, don't worry. Do you know why I'm taking out time to act this drama? So that you can be healed from that lie the devil is telling you. Amateurism is allowed in the school of success. Every professional was once a student. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't be ashamed of being a student. Just make sure you continue. So when you go for the meeting, and just like Apostle taught you, your blood is hot from SOM graduation. You received fire here, and you just organized a meeting. And in the name of Jesus, you waited for word of knowledge. You were surprised. Nothing happened. The crusade, you prayed, said, I sensed the anointing here. And the person who fell was there. And you just, everybody is looking at your error. And as soon as they shared the grace, you went back and said, Kai. Of course, God will always leave himself with a witness. But you go back feeling, Lord, Abba. if I was wrong, couldn't you have even just done it? And then we can settle it later. God says, no, pass through it. It's a track record. The day you are coming down from your car and a blind eye is opening. That day, people look at you and say, how did you start? You say, my brother, I didn't start with a blind eye opening. I started with finishing a service like funeral. <laughs> because nothing happened. Prophesy to someone, say, pay the price. Yes. Say, pay the price honorably. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ask every doctor here, when they were students, the things they laugh about now was once a thorn in the flesh. Ask every lecturer here, when they were teaching him what he's now teaching the students, he didn't smile at some of the things. Abi Pastor Alpha, you can't look at some of them and say, this thing is hard. Yet today you are the one teaching it. Hallelujah. So you stand today and declare in the name of the Lord and someone is blessed you are learning the principles of finance and favor you get up with that zeal and go and start a business you start a popcorn machine with the fire from the book you read and you eat your popcorn alone nobody comes you just say it's an evil spirit no sir look let me tell you this if you learn this tonight you will not be ashamed of your pain again the next time things go wrong it's not always demonic sometimes you just say lord i thank you look at the apostles Think how many times they were embarrassed. Do you know what it means to be mentored by Apostle Jesus? This is Jesus we are talking about, the Apostle of our faith. Having mentored some guys full of grace and truth. And then they went to pray for an epileptic patient. Mentored directly by Jesus, not John, not Moses. And they laid hands on that guy. In the name of Jesus. And the guy was not healed. The people would have beat them there to kill them if Jesus didn't come on time. But a time came, hallelujah. Peter, when Peter is in a room, they line sick people. Not for a crusade, Peter is about to pass. And his shadow, mastery they call it. Mastery. A realm and a dimension had come. Did you know once upon a time in my life, I would never speak for someone to fall under the anointing. No, I would lay hands, then you will fall. So if I want five of you to receive any impartation, I will patiently follow. I didn't have the luxury of just making a statement. Where who, who dash monkey banana? But you ask the devil in the pit of hell. Ask him. He knows. That you stand and make one pronouncement and open the two-lived gate over men's destinies. It's not just an impartation. It's a track record. Are we together now? Listen, tonight, I want you to know that failure is not the end. 
is a pathway to success this is the level where many of you are now that's why i'm explaining to you you are there now and you are praying and nothing is happening lord come through for me now and it looks like your heavens are closed and you are already getting angry you are already getting frustrated father i thought apostle said that if we finish dancing i've danced and danced and danced i put my prayer request i danced through the night it happened to me too don't think it just manifested let me tell you something the future you are trying to enter a large part of it by god's grace have entered i can tell you what to expect it will do you like a dream the day the day the legal claims of your training is over you will wake up one morning into a realm that you say god tell me it's a joke what is this what is this see a day will come you will look at your life and not find any scar and you are saying where did it go to and god says enjoy the blessings of your endurance when you see someone going to nda you see how they treat him when he's going to what they call the first level tamawan yes but by the time that gentleman is about to stand and give his last parade he stands with honor the fearful weak guy five years ago is now the warrior of today they can send him to my duguri and he says where is boko haram i'm ready to face them some of what you are going through god gives you victory many times by bringing your fear and you together there is a relationship between your fear and you and the spirit of courage sometimes running away from your fear will destroy you so god makes you strong by making you stare at your fear until you become friends your fear will no longer run away from you is it not the rent you stand with the landlord you stand with the policeman and finally you will learn that police does not kill landlord does not kill you no longer fear then the miracle comes and god will say it's not that i could not supply it i wanted to build your heart so that you are strong notice that every time you fail if you use it well it can impart faith in your heart this is something until you are in the school of the spirit it will never make sense hallelujah you can turn your fears to your miracle man of god the fact that you gave a word of knowledge oh i'm seeing pastor james on you say no my name is pastor alpha uh, your your wife you married judith say no sir if you are not if you are not serious we will drive you here my wife is called annie your, do you do you have five sons no sir we have two two i'm seeing a girl no sir i have a boy and you turn back and say god if you didn't send me why embarrass me i can go back to i can use my accounting can't what is it a bank i can't go and work in a bank and god says you are a prophet to the nations let me tell you do you know while you are help him oh my god you see that do you know that while you are complaining god never talks to you about that issue he gives you another assignment he now says all right that lady go and meet her stand before her before i'll tell you what to say say mm -mm. god what is her name first say no so go and stand and you now say young lady no i'm not this kind of guys if you think i say no 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 i know you are somebody's wife god just sent me so yeah talk fast already the, your your hearing is hazy by her shout listen he's training you so that the day you stand over a nation and say the lord said i should speak over this nation no matter who writes an article writing nonsense you have been immune there is a vaccination you have received all these people that cry over little persecution you were not trained well in the school of the spirit is god speaking to us oh god is calling me to be a kingdom millionaire and god says so you're fifty thousand and he said lord please I, I, is he you confirm it in a dream and you have five dreams in the night to show you it is him you even see yourself giving it you ask god to confirm every other thing you won't you will have a close heaven but confirm this one at once it will come and you keep giving like a fool until one day someone advises you and say look i know that you know this destiny we take it easily and god says listen to me and one day in one year when the rewarder of man ah 
I will never forget the first time in my life I started seeing a strange manifestation of the Holy Spirit it was during our second crusade I remember going to minister in a church that was the first time I would mention people's names and see them run out by the anointing like I mentioned your name and you run out I said what is this I've never seen this the signs don't go before the signs don't go with they follow you listen many of us believers let me teach you you are in a season right now where your failure does not mean God is not speaking are you hearing what I'm saying please listen very carefully the fact that you may not get it right physically does not mean the anointing is not on you the fact that you did the business and it failed does not mean that kingdom financing anointing is not on you the fact that you preached and your message looked like nonsense all the revelations you gathered evaporated is not demonic it's a track record go through it and see what you will make out of your life you pray for the first person he's not healed say lord while i'm learning what i did wrong who will i pray for again and god will say there is a cancer patient stage four in shika i say lord this is too much don't embarrass me like that and God says well it's up to you you can choose to disobey me when you look at that cancer patient even you by yourself you you'll be afraid what did you come to do here I I, I came to pray God sent me no I was and they said, oh yeah pray let's see as soon as you pray on your way going out you see that the person has died they say if if you are not careful we will arrest you and you go back and say god what did i do is it not the call and god says no son you continue i am birthing a mighty healing ministry through you a day will come listen a day will come in and through your life it's no longer the issue of who is healed or who is not healed again your ego has been so strong it's now about obedience not results that is the day you will pass somebody on a wheelchair and he will get up you didn't plan the idea was not to pray for the sick but you had gotten to a point in the spirit where you are not an amateur again this is how God builds this man that you see my goodness I can't begin to tell you about my failures you think it's every message I preached that was impressive no what you see today is a track record of many years man of God I bring you a word of hope don't let any man despise you you know sometimes we men of God we have a way of intimidating especially younger people and we make them look like there's no hope for you it's a lie if God brought me where I am there is nobody that cannot rise with greater fire and grace don't fake visions if you are not seeing it be patient you can see a real vision start where you are and be patient take the risk you will make mistakes not you may you will but don't allow it dampen you you have to believe in your destiny enough to know apostle look at what I'm doing my life is empty God where are you uh -uh. Uh -uh. you may think that you had a revelation that this guy is your husband this girl is your husband you go and meet her and say sorry i'm engaged and you go back and say god but you spoke to me he says no problem you are learning how to hear you are learning spiritual precision a day will come you will be a master and your voice will be like the voice of god upon the earth and when they look at you remember remember brothers and sisters little samuel too had a problem when he was hearing god the man whose word never fell to the ground a day came he said is it God or not God Eli I'm not sure the Bible captures the story of his learning but now look at Samuel a man like a God upon the earth another man looks at him and his donkey starts going back home what changed a track record of consistency are you ready to pray diligence 
to everything that has happened an unbending resilience lord you have called me into the worship ministry even if nobody invites me i will continue writing songs lord they may not place a demand on my grace but i will continue i will give my best to it i will pay the price brothers and sisters i guarantee you this that looks like a simple message if you pay attention tonight you will wear life out until the gate is open for you lift your voice and begin to bless him pray in the spirit for a few minutes because he was not strategic God took him God did not take away the assignment God showed him how he would do it it will be by a rod not a knife 
Moses, you are called, but you are using the wrong tools. Some of you, you are called, but the tools you are using is why you are failing. You are called into business, but the tools you are using, you are called into ministry, but how you were mentored is why things are not working. The information given to you, it is true that you are a deliverer. You are called into the prophetic, but the way they taught you the prophetic is why it looks like divination. You were called into wealth and abundance, but the person who mentored you may have been a greedy person and he made it look like the call to kingdom wealth is a call to materialism. Lord, correct my strategy. Lift your voice and pray. Correct my strategy. Something is wrong, not with the vision, not with the assignment. The strategy may be wrong. Lord, correct my strategy. There is a way I'm doing ministry. That's why I'm not getting results. It's not the call, it's the strategy. Pray this prayer. Lord, correct my prayer strategy. Correct my Bible study strategy. Correct my leadership strategy. missing something i know i'm missing something please pray tonight why is my church not growing why is my ministry not growing lord i don't doubt the call but i doubt the strategy correct the strategy listen listen Please look up everyone hear me tonight's meeting is very powerful for many of you you don't need to correct the vision you don't need to correct the assignment you are right but the strategy is what is making the result to not come the business you are in is correct but the strategy the ministry is correct but the strategy you were not supposed to have a church it was an evangelical outfit you went to open a church now nobody is bringing money for cheers let me tell you you are not free till the pattern is given to you the pattern is the strategy it says go and fill seven vessels with water that was the strategy go around jericho that was the strategy walk on water is not enough to want a miracle Lord, reveal the strategy for my result. For my result. Result in ministry. Result in my spiritual life. Lift your voice and pray. Reveal the strategy. Reveal the strategy. Hallelujah. Look up, please. We'll soon be done. I want us to pray over our finances. Look at me. Many of us here, this is where we really need God to come in. God has blessed you with all blessings. Right now, there are many of us, there's not much you can do with your finances. You are going to say, Lord, open my eyes. Where is my strategy? Not our strategy where is my strategy for ministry how do i finance ministry how do i finance my business lord i'm about to get married lord i'm married with three children what is the strategy lift up your voice and pray show me oh god every financial exploit comes with a solid strategy your ministry will never be financed until you receive a strategy. Your life and destiny may 
never be adequately financed until you receive a strategy. What is the blueprint of God? Please pray, Koinonia. Don't take lightly this prayer. Hallelujah. Listen, please look at me. When it was time to cross the Red Sea, the strategy for Moses was take your rod, stretch it, the river parted, the ground lifted. When it was time for Joshua to lead the people through, listen, the strategy was that the, the I think the, the, the priests, the, the, the Levites or so, went in front and then the Jordan parted when it was time for Jesus the strategy was not to part the water you would die there waiting for water to part whereas the strategy has changed the fact that God is not doing something the way he did it yesterday doesn't mean he's the is not the one doing it give us this day my strategy give me this day Lord the strategy that started ministry from zero to hundred I've exhausted it what is the strategy from hundred to one thousand what is the strategy Lord the strategy for my finances as a bachelor as a spinster I received it but now I'm married with three children what is the updated strategy for my daily bread Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is hard. But the day you find a place of breakthrough, brothers and sisters, in 24 hours, your captivity of decades can come to an end. The price is not to get breakthrough. The price is to go to the atmosphere where breakthrough is a possibility. That's your price. Is God speaking to us? They went to Samuel. The major issue was the issue of restoration. But when they went to Samuel, listen. All that Samuel told them was, is it not the donkey? It's been found, please. There are more important issues. Can you imagine? To them, that was the big deal. Let's look for our father's donkey. But Samuel said, leave the issue of donkey. I speak, oh yeah, it's been found. Look at Naaman. When Naaman went to go and meet Elisha, what did he say? Go and bath. It didn't even come out. Just go and take your bath seven times. Ah, he went to take his bath and that was the end of it. Brothers and sisters, tonight, many of you are face to face with realities that can wipe your tears of decades. But it is for you to recognize. Your own part has been done by coming to the atmosphere. Now step back and allow God to step in. You see that? Your own part. There are few prophets that I've met in my life. True prophets. One day I met a man of God. A true prophet of God. And I was explaining a few things to him. Areas of confusion here in my life. Do you know that before I would talk to this man, he looked at me and smiled. He said, did God not show you what you are going through now? And I just looked at the man. He said, you are pretending as if God did not show you. But did he not show you the other side too? See that? Yeah. Go and take the yellow book among your books. Read it now. Page 70. That's where God gave you the prophetic word. That's, he said, please, this issue is not the issue we are discussing. Let's discuss the next level of ministry. How is Koinonia doing? This is a prophet speaking to me. Ah. How about the dream you had of the next level? This is what we're discussing. I went for something else. I'm hearing something else. That's the character of a true man of God. Some of you now have carried the problem. My rent told oh God. And God is saying, not rent. I'm going to give you an anointing to start up a business. You came, how much is rent? 250. I know it's a mountain to you. 
but don't joke with God once you are in that atmosphere expect him to do more expect him to do more hallelujah there is one requirement from you tonight that requirement is to accept that you need help that's the last thing I would require from you if you can accept before God and say Lord I've tried everything I know to do I know that this thing is not as hard as it is but I submit myself to your wisdom you have changed the lives of people within 24 hours you have brought restoration and healing and hope for people brothers and sisters that sickness can leave that it has stayed 20 years does not mean that's how to stay you can choose to hear this word from God and argue it and just say well nice preaching your problem only affects you I hope you know but you can tremble at his word and say this is the key one prayer that God will never reject is the cry of mercy from a man who needs his help when a man comes to the end of his life I have come to the end of myself I have come to the end of myself I have come to the end of myself when you come to that point and you say Lord you spoke to me that I'm going to be a kingdom financier I'm short of ideas I've come to the end of my life Lord I need direction I don't know whether it's job now or marriage I don't know whether it's Zaria now or or, or I'm going to London or I'm going to Calabar or I'm staying in, 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 in Kogi State I need direction you will never never receive direction and help from God by default Jesus Christ saw blind Bartimaeus. He passed him as if he didn't see him. Blind Bartimaeus said, Thou son of David. I'm sure people said, keep, keep, keep quiet. The guy cried the more. He said, wicked people, you have eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm blind. Tonight, you may be going through all kinds of things. Brothers and sisters, the power of God is available. You have taken the first right step to come to the atmosphere. The second step, is surrender you must receive his help because you can reject it you can reject the help of God before we begin to pray Papa Adeboye shared a story and talked about a man who was on a wheelchair and that man was on a wheelchair and people kept giving the man money he became rich because every time people would give him money and then one time during a program papa deboy looked at him and he was moved with compassion by the holy spirit and he was going to pray for him and he, he was led to ask him do you want to be well man said no he looked at him ah be well why should i stand up when my life has changed on this chain and truly the man told him all i want is money i don't want to be I think eventually the guy got healed and he was angry that's according to Papa Deboe he said the guy was angry because he said now I'll have to work for myself no excuse again take over take over I have come to the end of myself take over take over I have touched the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself take over take over i have come to the end of myself take over take over I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Say, Lord, I need help. 
mention the areas you need his help if you don't need any help pray for koinonia pray for the ministry lord i need help pray i need help in my marriage pray i need help in my finances i need help in my academics i need help on my job are you praying thou son of david i cry for your mercy Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second prayer point. Lord, I know it is within your power to help me. I ask for your help. Let your power address my case tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know. Oh, it is within your power to give me a husband. It is within your power to give me a wife. It is within your power to cause my business to flourish. It is within your power to bring restoration. It is within your power to give me a child. It is within your power to cure HIV. It is within your power to deliver me. Oh, pray. It will put a new song in your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. We are going to cry for grace. I just showed you your contribution to your failure. You must take responsibility and say, Lord, I take responsibility and I receive grace to make the adjustments. There's nothing embarrassing about it. From all that I've said, you know the area that affects you. Say, Lord, I take responsibility. The part you cannot do for yourself, you will do. But the part that is your responsibility, you must take responsibility. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, we take responsibility in the name of Jesus. We receive fresh determination, fresh persistence, fresh determination, fresh persistence. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we receive the grace to pursue wisdom, to seek wisdom like a jewel. We receive grace to pursue understanding. We receive grace. By the truths that we know we receive grace to be convicted hallelujah hallelujah shortly we are going to begin ministering
we'll be very fast today i want to see how we can close on time so we're going straight to the point hallelujah we'll try to do everything very very fast and see how we can beat time as much as possible hallelujah you're going to prophesy what you want to happen to you by yourself are you ready now please i want you to speak it these are instructions from god i know you have been praying in your secret place it's not the same thing you are doing now open your mouth and prophesy everything god will do for you lift your voice and pray i walk out of here healed tonight come on now ss you must leave me tonight as you must leave me tonight confusion must end in my life tonight that idea that i need for my business that idea that i need for promotion that restoration i refuse to walk out of this place without that restoration that mantle that renewed spiritual life that clarity that prophetic word oh yes 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 pray pray in the name of the lord jesus christ pray that every spirit from darkness that has held your life pray that you must be delivered this night every spirit tying your family every spirit tying your progress pray enough is enough he must live my life lord i must be delivered today hallelujah 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 in recent time i have seen tremendous increase of the anointing of the spirit upon my life especially in the area of healing and deliverance i have seen this all my life but i have seen a multiplication of this grace brothers and sisters whatever your challenge is believe me there is an enough anointing to wipe your tears if only you will believe don't be part of those who have come to waste their time there are people standing outside just staring at others forget about them and be focused you know what you are going through miracle service is not it's not a marriage ceremony it's not an album dedication you don't come and just watch and smile you come with anger in your heart and say lord i, I won't go back that way who told you ss cannot be healed who told you as cannot change who told you the the biological problem cannot go who told you you cannot get breakthrough lord jesus we thank you we release this atmosphere to you and your power lord i know that you will do amazing things even in this place we trust you for a quick walk there are lives there are destinies that need to be changed lord there are people under all kinds of the influence of strange spirits that have tied their lives let not one of them escape the power of the holy spirit there are sick bodies that need to be healed oh god let not one of them escape the healing power of god there are families that have come with burdens lord i pray your people have come with prayer requests impossible situations but they believe in you so lord we give you praise hallelujah hallelujah 
now while the ministration continues please if you have not written your prayer requests make sure that you write them it's important it's not a religious formality it's a revelation that god gave us hallelujah during the dinner those of us who are workers will have the opportunity probably to experience the testimonies that have come as a result of answered prayers So in one minute just write your prayer request very quickly so that when we start please if you are yet to write let's just give them an opportunity please help one another with um, papers you can feel free to put on your phone contact your loved ones and tell them to send in their prayer request if it's possible there are many who have sent their own hundreds online hallelujah praise the lord please make sure you write everything write everything you are trusting god to do in your life Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 
Aleluia Aleluia It's a very simple song Lift your voice and sing it to your maker ah. at this lady and I see a spirit a very serious spirit hold my hands the Lord will deliver you huh? from that spirit because this is something that wants to destroy your life is your sister here where's her sister is her sister here is she here I need to pray for both of you because I'm seeing an attack coming to your family. There is a spirit that I saw, and this is something that has to do with somebody dying. Hallelujah. Who is here? My younger sister. Where is she? Please, let's save time um, very quickly so that we can. We have to pray. I'm seeing death in your family. This is somebody's obituary God wants to avert. You can help her hold her baby if she won't cry. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. But you specifically, there is a spirit that torments you. I need to pray for you. Leading you into things that you do not want to do. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Not, not Pastor Femi. Femi. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Femi. Who is Femi? Please, if, if I call your case, please just save our time and come quickly. Femi. Your name is Femi? Who is a visitor? You are the one. From where? Come. From where? Jigawa. Eh? Jigawa. From Jigawa State. Yes, sir. You came from Jigawa State. Yes, sir. The Lord is going to set you on fire and yes. take you back there. You didn't just come yes, sir. just for a meeting. I know you just yes, thought you came to receive. I've called you several times. Sir. Eh? I've called your number several times. Not <laughs> <laughs> you will receive that which you desire. Praise the Lord. Yes. My brother, I'm going to pray for you. Victoria. Victoria. I hear a name Victoria. This is Victoria. Let me just respond to Victoria. Victoria. There is a Victoria trusting God for a change of genotype. Genotype. You're trusting God for a change of genotype. I don't know if it has to do with um, S S A S. Anyone like that? This is a Victoria I see. I want to minister to a Victoria that is trusting God for a change of genotype. We have to frustrate. Come. We have to frustrate the power stopping your marriage. Look at me. We have to frustrate the power that is stopping your marriage. Huh? Because it's God's desire for you to settle down soonest. You understand? This is, this is, the devil is not going to lord it over you. We are going to pray. Please, I want you to believe. I don't have to call your case. I'm just flowing because the Holy Spirit is impressing it strongly upon me. And then we'll just get into prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
father visit this family in the name of the lord jesus christ where is your mother who is sick who is sick in your family my mom because i'm seeing that ah we have to pray i have we have to pray hmm? this is december your mother will just sleep and they will tell you i'm not a prophet of doom they will tell you that she's dead she has been talking about death we have to rebuke this thing she has been seeing dead people in her dream she sleeps and she sees dead people and they will be keep stretching their hands towards her and asking her to hold them some of them are people who have died before see there are families here with those things but we are going to deal with it praise the lord father in the name of jesus christ i pray for this family that spirit of death over the family in the name of jesus we roll it away we roll it away by the power of the holy spirit and for you i curse this spirit that is in you in the name of jesus when the time for deliverance comes the lord is going to set you free completely in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you your hands are blessed listen your hands are blessed god expects you to use your hands to bring wealth to yourself your hands are blessed the lord is saying i should tell you that these hands are blessed hands are you getting what i'm saying you have to pray and trust god for ideas the things that you can do with your hands and he will bless you in the name of the lord jesus christ new level come there is still a time for impartation so you receive it but two things god is giving you number one god is giving you wisdom number two god is giving you stability huh i see you but i see like a wind you are here and there god needs to give you stability father you will give him stability in the name of jesus come my dear i pray for you you will marry a foolish man say amen i curse every spirit delaying her marriage now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke that spirit come um, I have to pray for you hold my hands lord she must be free today today is her day of liberty in the name of jesus christ i rebuke this spirit you must leave her i see you in the spirit out of her right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ my dear do you love jesus very well huh Please, he wants you to take him very seriously. Okay? Where are you from, my dear? Benway State. Benway State. Is, who is here with you? My brother. Your brother. Where is he? Love. Brother, please, can you come? I want to speak to him just before we start. This What's his name? Okay. Huh? Joseph Okotu. Joseph, where are you? I hear the Lord saying he's bringing restoration to your family that's why I want to pray for you we are going to pray. the Lord is saying I should tell you he will give you beauty for ashes huh you may not understand the meaning of what I'm saying but as the days unfold you will see God honor you father let there be restoration for this family you are going to be a great man of God great man of God God is going to put a teaching anointing upon you supernatural grace for teaching supernatural grace for teaching Father, step into this family and do miracles in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in one minute. Let's begin to pray in tongues. Shiva Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Thank you, Father. Because the oppressed will be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I want to begin to minister. Deliverance is very important. Very, very important. It's the platform that separates you from the spirits and the influences. You see, sometimes some of you do not even know that your lives are under um, certain levels of 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 bondage but then you will need the grace of god you will need the wisdom of god you will need his grace to give you direction 
and I'm going to pray for you right now my goodness the power of God is strong in this place so many people inside and outside it will surprise some of you because you do not even know now listen this deliverance is not just for individuals in fact God is going to start with families that's what I see God doing hallelujah praise the Lord you've heard this happen again and again I don't know why God does this but the lady is going to shout under the anointing and this is what will introduce that grace a loud shout by the spirit of the living God lift your hands father thank you for your power and your presence in this place right now in the name of Jesus at the count of three I want everyone to shout Jesus from the depth of your heart I challenge every spirit I challenge every voice and every altar oh God that has kept your people bound that has kept families bound there's no place for escape for you tonight Lord I pray that in a mighty way as your people begin to shout you visit them my goodness the power of God is already coming on people at the count of three one two get ready now get ready three fire upon you right now deliverance fire in the name of Jesus receive it receive it help them please help those people right now in the name of Jesus inside and outside I release the power of the Holy Spirit the power of the Holy Spirit right now right now right now right now right now I see the power of God along this region right here where the ministers are staying I see the power of God right now I cast that spirit I challenge every power every fraternity from hell that keeps people bound in the name of Jesus hallelujah lift your hands those outside alone those inside you can relax those outside at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus there are people who are tied to covenants I hear covenants in the spirit people tied to covenants as you shout that name it's like a wind that will blow outside and the power of God will begin to set people free are you ready now at the count of three one two three in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ we release deliverance outside we release mighty deliverance now lift your hands you don't have to shout just keep it lifted hallelujah I'm going to begin to speak and prophesy and for all those who are affected the power of God will begin to touch them bring them out here in the name of Jesus lift your hands now I pray every family here under any spell every family Lord where are they right now let the power of God touch them touch them now 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 right now in the congregation every family under any kind of spell I bring deliverance right now I bring deliverance right now in the mighty name of Jesus I bring deliverance help that lady I bring deliverance right now right now keep your hands lifted right now father identify families that have suffered every cause right now in the name of Jesus all over the congregation inside and outside hallelujah keep your hands lifted no instruments just keep your hands lifted I'm going to pray I see fire rolling in the realm of the spirit now that fire listen that fire is going to come upon individuals I'm hearing stagnation that's what I'm hearing please keep your hands lifted inside and outside Lord wherever those people are get set right now as I speak the fire will burst and begin to touch people stagnation wherever they are shake it, 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 it. begin to touch them right now by that fire receive it right now right now right now right now 
right now all over the building in the name of jesus christ that spirit of stagnation that has been responsible i see some people being touched outside i see people being touched outside hallelujah this row lift your hands just this row lift your hands the lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you the moment i stretch my hands the power of god will move in dramatic ways and i'm hearing in my spirit breakthrough that's what is coming please make sure you believe at the count of three i want you to shout jesus it will be a mighty move of the spirit lord i do as you have instructed and at the count of three let there be breakthroughs one two three help them please we command it in the name of jesus bring them out lift your voice and begin to pray every force that has tied down my life you must leave me right now pray as some of you are praying the power of god will be touching you every spirit that is responsible Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, only the ladies. I want to pray for you. Only the ladies. A woman represents a gate in the spirit. And there are many ladies whose gates are tied and closed. But the Bible says to open up the two leaf gates. It will surprise you what will happen to many of you right now. Please keep your hands lifted. Father, I pray in a mighty way, let every lady's destiny that has been closed at the count of three, as they shout Jesus, let those gates be open. Get set now, ladies. One, two, three. Open now. Open now. Open now. My goodness, I see padlocks opening. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. Open up those gates in the name of Jesus. Open up those gates. Open up those gates now. Open up those gates now. Open up those gates now in the name of Jesus hallelujah listen lift your voice and violently pray in one minute and command that spirit to leave you go ahead and pray please by the power of the Holy Spirit you must leave my family just keep praying it's a new season by the anointing of the Holy Ghost every unclean spirit attaching itself to our lives hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord who came with this woman I'm seeing a spirit tying this woman watch this who came with mama out of her hold my hands mama listen she can't walk hold on mommy this woman cannot walk well you see this who don't worry Mom. stroke look at this how many of you believe god can do a miracle for this woman i command the spirit 
right now that spirit leave this woman right now in the name of Jesus she doesn't hear very well too in the name of Jesus I command the ears to be open mommy look at me lift your leg just carry it lift your leg carry it come come walk come 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 look at this walk by yourself come come look at this look at this look at this give Jesus praise give Jesus praise hallelujah listen she doesn't hear very well mama Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Come, Mama. Look at this. You know that this is a spirit that has tied this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, we end captivity. Stretch your hands and pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns her. This is somebody's mother. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah mama this mama come your time of breakthrough has come hold on look at what's wrong with you my leg cannot open your leg cannot this open leg, uh, this leg uh, how long 20, 20 years 20 how many years I, it's who knows her years. you know you are their son come now you come and stand close to your mother how many years more than 20 years where are you from we are from sabongari mama you believe jesus will touch yes, you yes sir i tell you there is nothing jesus cannot do yes, there is sir. the anointing you believe it yes sir say jesus jesus heal me heal me say jesus jesus heal me heal me father you died for this reason right now in the name of jesus christ let there be healing right now look at what is happening to her in the name of Jesus mama hold my hands walk come 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 try to climb now lift your leg try to lift it it didn't used to open before oh I see okay okay go ahead in the name of Jesus Christ lift it and do what you could not do just do it do it open the other one in the name of Jesus God is already giving you a miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit can you see a miracle happening she could not open the leg completely could not open it in the name of Jesus Christ look at look at this God is giving this woman a eh? before she said she, she could not stand for five minutes I cannot stand for five minutes but right now God is touching you your back will be paining you in the name of Jesus Christ, this perfection has started. That backache, I lay my hands and I release the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, just keep under the anointing. She will stand up and check herself. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another mother. I don't know why God is visiting our mothers right now. I'm seeing, Mama, please come. Can I talk to you, Ma? Somebody help that woman. Please, don't, if we talk to you, speak whatever language you can speak. There will always be somebody to interpret it. It doesn't have to be that you must speak English. Who's, whose mother is this? Eh? Well done, mommy. What's, what's the issue? What brought her here? She has been complaining of different illness. Mama, what's wrong with you? I got BP. I got BP. This 20 day, my blood will move like this. As friend. I'm looking at our mother, Mama, as I look at you, I'm seeing something like a snake all around your stomach. That thing starts moving. Is that? And then it comes towards your chest area. Hey, then that. sometimes you feel pain at your back here. Yes, sir. That devil will leave you right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. You believe in Jesus? I'm going to pray that God will use this lady. Because I looked at her and I just saw a dove rise from her. You. What's your name? Faith. 
faith yes sir you will be a woman of faith you believe that let me pray for you father anoint this lady let your power come upon her in the name of jesus christ i pray that god will use you mightily mama let's pray for you lay your hands on your chest please in the name of jesus christ god is healing you right now high blood pressure high blood pressure and every other sickness i rebuke it right now and i command the spirit that oppresses you to live in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now listen if you know you are involved in anything whether maybe you have a shop you are in business and nothing is working just lift your hands i want to pray for those people right now that's what the holy spirit is telling me please believe Why is she out? Come, you're a mother. We can't keep you standing there. Let me just attend to her. Please, you don't have to come out. We'll attend to you. Whose mother is this? My son is outside. Your son? Okay, what's, what can Paul, we do for you? Paul. I'm weak from here downwards. You are weak from? Um, my waist downwards. downwards. What? You can walk. It's just that the pain is there. The pain, I used to feel pain. I can't see it for long. Yes, I lie down. I can't stand for long. Okay, Mama, just clear the way. Let Mama, you are her son. You are welcome. Let her just sit down there. We will soon pray for the sick. When it's time, you just bring her there so that you can hurry up. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, you don't have to come out. We are going to, listen, listen. We are going to pray. We will invite people to come out now. We are, I'm going to pray for the sick. I will lay hands on all of you. Praise the Lord. So that we can just hurry up. If we do it one by one like this, we may not have all the time. Um, but why, why is she not working? Uh, my problem is one year. I'm eating in the dream. You are eating in the dream? Yes. Food, you mean? One year now. For one year, non stop? Last month, on, on today's 15 days, my stomach, with my back, in the pain. I know if sleep, I know if eat. Uh, last week, uh, Friday, I enter hospital. They give me medicine. I don't take all the medicine. Never stop. Well, we pray. Jesus Christ will set you free. In the name of Jesus. Mama, you two, just go and sit down there. Please, no, our mothers, don't worry. When we start praying for the sick, this is what we'll do. We may give room so that we start with some of our elderly ones so that they can go back. They may not have that strength. Will that be fine? So as you line up, if you see any elderly man or woman, you can just push them forward so that we minister to them and then they can go and sit down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But lift your hands now. I want to release breakthrough. I mean, I, I mentioned the case right now. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him I will sing to him a new song I will praise him I will sing to him a new song and I will praise him I will sing to him a new song I will praise him I will sing to him a new song And I will praise him I will sing to him a new song Every force Kabbalah Tabarada Keep your hands lifted That has tied down your business All the works of your hands Some of you will feel fire on your hand Literal fire It will start burning on your hands right now in the name that is above all names i pray as that fire comes on your hand ideas begin to come to you receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus it's already happening to people right now it's happening to people the fire is coming on people help this brother please the fire is coming on people right now your hands ideas 
ideas this fire represents ideas receive it right now receive it right now in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord now as we pray for the sick I know there are many people here who are sick please be orderly as you come while that is happening every prayer request please pass it over to the ushers you have your prayer request you can use the time to call some of your loved ones by the way when we begin to prophesy for some of you who have your loved ones at home you can put on the phone and connect with them honestly if they have the faith to receive and they believe they'll be surprised at what happens to them you are trusting god for a healing miracle make your way to the front now and begin to pray there is a god that heals here yeah. yes mama please don't cry can you get a handkerchief please help our mother with this handkerchief Please make your way to the front. It's called a miracle service. Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Forward all the elderly ones to the front. Please, all our elderly ones. Looked around and I realized That you've been so good to me standing here can we begin to talk to the Lord and say father please who am I that you are mindful of me who am I that you hear my cry when I call you how can I love you more know you more The source of my strength, now you, the strength of my life, my hope and my joy, my confidence, now you, the other source of my life, the strength of my life, my hope and my joy, my confidence. show you look at this oh my god put the camera here look at this can you see this person bring the person here look at this this is death already look at this i think you can can they see it on camera look at this you know that this is this is this is already this is an obituary who is her mother this is her mother crying who is her mother? Why did the mother stay outside now and bring the... Oh, she went to bring Matt. They brought the girl on his... What's wrong with her? She has been sick for over six months now, but they have been not... They have not able to be... No diagnosis. You will look at her and think it's HIV. Brothers and sisters, hear me. When a spirit enters a man, it leaves out his character through that person. Okay, let's, let's hear from the mother, please. What language can she speak? Kurama. Who is Kurama here? Huh? You are, please. Don't, can she speak Hausa? Mama Ki Hausa? Rabu de Suki Hausa? We will never put pressure on anybody. If she can't speak Hausa, she'll speak her language. 
um, what is wrong with her? What's the issue with the baby? Uh -huh. Son of the two um, cancer. Cancer. Uh -huh. Eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Cancer. The eight took her. And uh, Basr. Basr. What's that? Pile, cancer, HIV. Uh, Look at this. Uh, Uda Uku. Uku. Mm. Tell her she brought, she brought her expecting. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. Tell her she came expecting Jesus to touch her. Jesus oh, Kina. Kana Osa. So say. Kede in Ali. Kasuna. Kede in Kasuna. She never hear Osa. But is that not your language? Mama Kerkita, we are going to pray for her. I'm going to pray for her. Just clear the way. Can she hear? Can I How old is she? Help her. She, she. You would think this girl is, is 10 years. She's 30 years. 30 solid years. Supposed to be married, right? With her children. She's married with two children. Oh my God. Ah, mama? Okay. This is cancer, HIV at a terminal state. The source of my strength, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, hey, my comfort. Source of my life, strength of my life, my hope and my joy, my confidence. Hallelujah. My dear, my dear, can you speak English? Can you speak English? No, don't worry. Can you hear me? You can hear me. You believe Jesus can touch you? Do you believe that? Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is able to touch you. Father, show this lady mercy. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil by the blood of Jesus Christ. I command that spirit of infirmity, that devil of HIV, that devil of cancer I command you to leave her in the name of Jesus Christ I will ask you people to help her get up eventually my dear look at me look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I release strength to you strength to you strength to you try to move your hands or your leg go ahead Try to move your hand or your leg if you can. Do you have enough strength for that? Can she hear me? She's so weak, she can't even hear me. It's well, just leave her to lie down with the glory as I pray for other people. I mean, she's so weak, she cannot even hear me. God, the devil is wicked. Listen, I assure you that whatever it is, what's that? Okay, the request, don't worry, we'll pray for you. Hallelujah. Just leave her to soak in the glory here while she gets some strength and we'll try to lift her up and see what happens. Father, I pray for everyone here. Let the power of God touch them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone came. Please be patient. You don't have to rush. The Lord himself will touch you. You came for a reason. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to tell me what is wrong with you. If I ask you, you can tell me, but it doesn't matter. The spirit of death is on this woman. Mama, look at me. Come, please. What's wrong with her? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Yes. What's wrong with you, madam? Now, since where would they for Abuja? Now, the bubble. Where the bomb will blow. So, what? I'm, I'm selling something for Nyanya. Uh, I'm selling food with her. Where bomb will blow for that side? Bomb. Uh, oh, uh, bomb blast. Yes, I now fall down. I know I cannot get out. They carry me to go hospital. Oh, the bomb blast that happened in Nyanya. Yes. So it affected you. Eh, 
So I can't get up. They carry me go hospital. So, uh, I spent four months. Go no go. They carry me go flying place. He collected uh, fifty thousand. Go no they go. They carried you go where? Uh, flying man. May go treat me. Say hospital no fit you. A doctor. Oh, how about this? Eh. Uh, okay. Flani man. It's okay. The flying man collected fifty thousand. You know, I've said it again. Please hear me. Listen, let me let me press it down. Any man, I don't care who, who tells you to bring money to get a miracle, even if it's me, run away. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mama, our mothers, I'm begging you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any man, any priest, any prophet, any pastor, any apostle, any human being, herbalist, whoever, that asks you to give him money so that you give him miracle, tell him, Joshua Selman said he's a thief. He's not a man of God. Are we together? I will start the cure the thing. The, if you give me medicine, I drink, I will bring bad, bad dream in the night. So, then like that, four months, you go and no go. The man now time to bring 30,000 again. I said, I know I will see food. That should bring 30,000 again. Uh, I know see food to to my children again now. And now start the bed, the man, no grief. That my me and my girl live for some yeah. room before. We Mommy, for some what, what? Now I can't have, I can't some room here. Come and say, come and I work up for prayer to prayer. But I didn't hear prayer for you. When they say, I know they come. I know they come. I'll just lie down. They feel pain every time. Do you know that there are spirits that stop men from going to the place of their breakthrough? Have you seen people that you try to bring for koinonia? On your way going, they just change their mind. It's not them. There is a spirit. I tell you that you make your way here alone. It's a sign that God is ready to visit you. Okay, what, what, what exactly? I must enter today. I must enter as I just uh, come out for road. The machine just come. You say, where are the grass and at this church? He says, oh, make a go, make a go in Opa. Welcome, the usher people. Say, where they go, they go to my I say, I know if you These people can serve God, then, then carry me from machine down. They hold my hand. God bless our hand. ushers. I sit down. When I sit down, finish. They come, they address me. They make no hurry to enter. So, and now, where they start, they play. I enter through gate. That I just stand up with my hand. Now, this hand, they just stand. Because all this side, you know. And now, so please stand up. Uh, stand. God, come give me. I come there. Strength. My power. What, what power. part of your body is not working very well? Yes. Now? What part? Oh, your oh, I see, Father. It's, it's okay, Madam, Ma Mama. Uh, we, we get what is wrong with you now. Eh? In Jesus' name, we we'll pray for you. If she couldn't walk, oh, there is a spirit at work in you. That spirit will leave you now. I command that devil leave her. You think it's bomb blast, but oh, she could not walk, oh. They had to carry her and now she's even standing. That's even a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, look at me. Hold my hands. I minister strength to you. Look at me. Come. Come. Help her. In the name of Jesus. Walk. I will hold you. Walk. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Start walking by yourself. Come. Came on a bike. Could not walk. Come. Slowly. Just take it slowly. Look at this. You can see that it's happening gradually. Gradually. These hands were paralyzed. Madam, look at me. Try to lift it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Look at this. Lift it. Lift it. Drop it down. Lift it again. Lift it again. Completely paralyzed. Completely paralyzed. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. A miracle is happening. Do what you couldn't do. The devil is a liar. The more you take that step of faith, the more you see God stepping in. Father, this miracle is perfected in her body in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Just keep exercising her. We'll have to pray. Please, any special case, we'll minister it. Our time is gone. I saw the spirit of death. She was supposed to die in that bomb blast. I didn't even know it was Nyanya bomb blast. That Boko Haram bomb blast. May you never be a victim of any man's wickedness. In the name of Jesus Christ. The moment I pray for you, please, 
as you return back check yourself and do what you couldn't do before if it's a striking striking testimony we'll just take it here worship team lead us through sessions of worship as we pray in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus short of blood I look at you sir and your face has changed to the face of a cat this is what licks your blood this is what I'm seeing this is demonic you understand what I'm saying there was a time you had a dream and a dog was following you dog dog was pursuing you and I need to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death in the name of Jesus Christ I command that spirit that devil of darkness to leave Please stand in and connect for your loved ones. We have so many people. Let's see how far we can. stretch your hands at this baby and let's close this hole in the name of Jesus you will have a child make sure you are praying one month two weeks a hole in his heart if God does not step in this baby will either die or something will happen I tell you we are the church of the Lord Jesus Christ we can agree father we reject this we reject this as you are rejecting it for this child so it will be in your life reject it lord your church is praying we change this report baby we speak to you baby you will not die you will not die you will not die we close this hole hallelujah 
go and check him don't cry don't cry eh? you are not going to lose your baby in the name of Jesus Christ amen we are going to pray it's going to be very very fast as I lay my hands on you just it's just a touch there is a reason why I'm doing this myself and I lay hands on you just a touch the Lord is wiping your tears the Lord is wiping your tears and not just because you are crying physically this woman is coming with so much pain. The Lord is wiping your tears. Now, in the name of Jesus, out of her, that demon that causes pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Break the chains, yeah. Holy Ghost. Break the chains of God. Break
submit a prayer request ushers you can begin to bring the prayer request forward please everybody inside and outside make sure you don't miss this next session because that's where you get to receive your personal breakthrough so please forward the prayer request if you still have yours just lift it up and an usher will come to you quickly please guys let's do this very fast so that we can finish as hands are being laid on you i just want you to believe that god is touching you
This is, this is, it's not a religious activity. It's an instruction that God gave us. Because you see, no matter how I lay hands on everybody one by one, we may not have all the time for everybody to state what their needs are. But then let me tell you something. The truth about it is that I'm not the most important person in this meeting. There is one who is mightier than I. You didn't write this request to Joshua Selma, and I will not even read one of them. This is unto the God who can solve problems. Mommy, please come. Yes. I've been looking at this woman, and I've been wondering what it is that God, what would you want God to do for you? To give me a quality spouse. To give you a quality spouse. 
this is what I'm looking at this woman and my heart had been drawn to her for a while madam you want to get married because you are not afraid and ashamed to say this in the presence of the people look at me I stake my reputation on this prophecy that I will give you you hear me if a man does not come to marry you go and publish it in the newspaper that I lied you believe what I'm saying I will not implicate myself and be a fool like this because as soon as I looked at you you said spouse I saw a man putting a ring in your hand that's why I'm telling you what I'm saying you believe this be sure to return and give the testimony and everybody be sure to look at her you are seeing her today when she comes back with her husband so you don't say that this is stage manage father in the name of Jesus I prophesy it by the power of the Holy Spirit okay just cover her I'm going to pray let me have okay it's props water I wish there's any other one just to pray on it and then they'll give her she's too weak we can't even test her whether or not but I see her moving her legs and moving all of this this is ordinary okay this ordinary water we'll just pray on it since that's the only thing she can achieve isn't she but achieve isn't she say me Father, I pray that this water will lose its earthly significance and take on a heavenly significance. That as she takes this, oh God, let this be um, a cleansing agent. Let it be like a drug in her body. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can she hear you? Ask her how she's feeling now. I'm sorry, I forget this thing. So I'm going to be The take a chance. You see, she's gaining some strength. She couldn't move before, but we see her gaining some strength. Uncle, you don't. Can you see her gaining some strength? She's even moving. She's pushing her away. Same issue. Something is happening to her. Look at this. Are you seeing? Look at this. Look at this by herself. Oh. This is the power of the Lord. This in itself is a miracle. If you saw the way they brought her. Mama. Brother, the Holy Spirit is doing something in her life. My dear, as God grants you grace, you can just be moving your body gradually. We, we prayed on this. And um, Mama Gashi, Abata, Bakuabane Zesha, Kramata Dua, Kramata Dua, Kramata Dua. If you keep it there, all these children will come and take you. Stretch your hands on this prayer request as we pray. Let's pray on this request. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands and let's ask the Lord to visit us. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. Father, we are praying right now in the name of Jesus. We are praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a miracle. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. I'm seeing the Lord giving people miracles of jobs. Jobs. I see employment of jobs. I see a family that dropped a request here something about building a house and it looks like you will not complete it the lord is saying before december 25th you will enter that house please pray father visit me talk to the lord tell him your request is here
Let there be miracles, oh God. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. every request here to a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ requests of marriages may they be granted some of you have dropped requests here because the admission list came out and you did not see your name Lord we agree I don't know how you would do it but we agree that there be miracles In the name of Jesus. Lord, we release breakthroughs. We release all kinds of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands as I prophesy. Everyone. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please I want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of jesus christ I command breakthroughs to come into your life. Supernatural breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands on your head, I pray. Father, mm, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now, now. Wisdom, help him please. Wisdom in the name of Jesus. Supernatural wisdom. Understanding. Receive the impartation. Wisdom in business. Wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here trusting God for direction in the name of Jesus may the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you? Wherever they are, everybody in life needs a helper.
to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting god for a job hands that are lifted in the name of jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that veil be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of God receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus Christ between now and next week koinonia I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access Satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in Jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated in the name of jesus listen i prophesy to you 
you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder i speak it upon your life in the name of jesus christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life i pray for your dreams and visions of the ideas god has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insights in the name of jesus from today i declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting god for restoration i pray for you i don't know what you have lost i command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what i'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no i'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of jesus christ someone will call you and tell you they have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of jesus christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the holy spirit i pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of jesus christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of jesus christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah now very quickly we're out of time please keep standing everybody there are people here who are saying lord jesus i'm committing my life and my all to you please keep standing everybody no movements around there are people inside and outside here you came for this meeting and you have seen what the lord jesus christ has done and you are saying lord i want to surrender my life i've been living my life the way i want but i want to hand it over to you tonight some of you are giving your life to christ for the first time some of you are rededicating your life you said i've, I've come out once but something has happened in my life wherever you are in the next one minute i know many people outside those inside please join them come out here and i will lead you to give your life to jesus christ wherever you are young old don't sit down wait for anybody koinonia celebrate them make your way to the front don't be embarrassed this is what jesus can do with your life you've given people who are less than him your life why don't you commit everything i know this is not all there are still people inside and outside please make your way quickly god bless you as you come make your way quickly hallelujah while the rest join them god bless you keep coming quickly please hurry up and join them catch up with them it's a decision that will change your life forever we may not know who you are but we know where you are going because with jesus your journey is secured you've lived your life anyhow and you're saying i'm tired of playing games with god i want to make it right there is always room for you the throne is where you start from hallelujah praise the lord jesus i want you to lift your right hand and say after me lord jesus please say it very seriously say lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe in you tonight i surrender my life completely to you take everything about me use me for your glory in the name of jesus i receive eternal life into my spirit from today i'm not the same person again the power of sin is broken over my life in jesus name father i pray for these ones whose hands are lifted bless them 
they have made a decision for you they remain in you forever give them a new life in the name of jesus christ may the lord bless you in the name of jesus now i'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving their hands they'll have your details and they'll welcome you more warmly very quickly madam we're finished praying tap that madam she can follow them hallelujah praise the lord now all those who are worshiping with us for the first time very quickly one minute make your way to the front we want you to go back with an anointing and with a blessing honor them koinonia they are the result of your prayers our mothers our fathers our brothers and sisters thank you so much thank you so much they are the result of our prayers our commitment we prayed and asked the lord to bring you and bless you look how many people god is bringing come on celebrate jesus hallelujah now very quickly thank you so much sas mass thank you for coming this is koinonia a meeting put together by eternity network international we're here subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you are watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain